fucking checks that Janari's ass can't cash. And come Saturday, I'm gonna f Janari up. If you find yourself in the boxing ring against a Kazakhstani with the nickname Triple G, it is better not to make any disrespectful insults in his address, otherwise you will be mercilessly punished. Yeah, I'll be a middleweight champion. Oh, big right there! American Curtis Stevens refused to acknowledge the greatness of the Kazakh knockout artist who has cleaned out the middleweight division, sweeping everyone in his path. Today, we will tell the story of the conflict of the Kazakhstani puncher against the cocky guy from Brooklyn. Well, who's scared of him, though? Right? Ain't nobody scared of him. Well, obviously, I've been calling him out, you know? I'm gonna go in there and do what I do, and everybody that he's not like that. He's not like that, he's overrated. I'm gonna go in there and demolish his ass. This is boxing game, here we go. Gennady Golovkin made a bright debut in 2006. At that time, people didn't suspect that this humble guy, thanks to his punching power, would become an undisputed world champion. And hammering him like that body kicks. Down goes Beal again. Having scalped everyone who shared the ring with him, Golovkin won his first WBA title in 2009, sending his opponent to count the stars in the second round. By 2013, Triple G had 27 wins with zero losses, and only three of his fights went to a judge's decision. But there was one man on the horizon who threw all the credit for the undefeated champion into the trash can. I'm coming to the fight. Um, I'm not scared. Curtis Stevens was on a winning streak and backing up his insolence with cold knockouts, killed respect in himself, and dishonored Gennady Golovkin. I have just one question for oh, Stevens. Hey man, are you serious right now? <laughs> the modest Kazakhstani never stood out with loud words, leaving the loud sound of his fists on the opponent's faces. Outwardly good-natured Gennady possessed the soul of a berserker. It could be understood by the merits, which were voiced by the ring announcers. The fight began with a classic scouting of punchers but Triple G was more accurate in this shootout. Golovkin moments ago. Golovkin lands yeah. enough. Well, Triple G is doing a good job throwing out early. Golovkin has a stiff, penetrating jab. Lennox Lewis. Stevens. Oh, pretty good amateur background. Very quick fighter. Golovkin lands. Thing to see Golovkin backing away from a guy, but he was... Golovkin wants to punctuate the round with something. Further, Golovkin worked up and down the levels, and in the process, introduced Steven's liver to his Mr. Fist. There's a fighter named Garnell. Sergio Martinez might outbox him. Not a lot has happened so far, but there is this sense. The audience chanted Golovkin's name, wanting the brazen man to feel the wrath of the gloved Avenger. Encouraged Gennady with his sniper shots, literally knocked the ground out from opponent, and the knockdown was a strong surprise only for Stevens. The, beautiful knee left hook that caught him flush on the, chin, but the, the insolent fighter was saved from defeat in this episode by the bell, and the fighters went to their corners to catch their breath. Stevens with it. One more right hand. The third round was under total control of the Kazakhstani, and Stevens looked like a player who forgot to turn on the controller and Gennady strengthened his dominance over his toothless foe. Two big right cross. There it was. Body shot, there it was. Further on, Curtis Stevens finally recalled that he was in the ring, but despite the fact that at the press conference he behaved like a predator, in the fight, he looked like an ordinary herbivorous animal. The right hand. Left can land say, an uppercut. Having already won four rounds in a row, Triple G was a clear favorite for the fight, and this confidence almost played a cruel joke on him. And lands a left hook and brings some excitement to the Brooklyn fans. Stevens apparently remembered his coach's words and delivered the devastating blows that would have sent any other fighter to count stars. But Gennady wasn't planning to go to sleep so early that day. Golovkin kept his rhythm of the fight, 
never ceasing to attack, and the face of the arrogant chatterbox took merciless blows over and over again. He does so much better when he attacks first. Mike Kolovkin's gonna react when Steven catches him with his boat. Beating the cowardly rascal was a pleasure for Triple G, as Stevens had to pay for every word he said before the bout with his health. In the left hook. Golovkin tried to measure one. Right cross for Golovkin. Body shot. Uppercut. Right cross. Right Very cross. active round for Gennady. Wobbled Stevens with a couple of shots and is still seeking good left hook for Stevens. That's the counter shot, Golovkin. Stevens was against the ropes. I think it was those body shots by Golovkin in the last round, but here Stevens is to stay in the middle of the ring. Who told him, stay in the middle of the ring. But now Golovkin backs him to the ropes. Here and there from Stevens. And for Golovkin, though, he doesn't really have to feed his clothes. As the fight reached the eighth round, Stevens' face was practically devastated by Gennady's warheads. Totally leading on the judges' scorecards, Golovkin continued his mission to destroy the upstart, and in response to the crushing blows, Stevens could only sloppily beat the air. Really hard body shot by Golovkin. And yeah, it looks like if we get a knockout by Golovkin, it's gonna be the submission of real brutal abuse here in the eighth round. Still trying. The courage of Curtis Stevens. Big right cross by Golovkin. Whipping Curtis Stevens into the corner. Seeing his beaten and frightened protege, Curtis's coach decided to throw in the towel, handing another victory to the undefeated humble fighter, Triple G. After a very intense bout, Gennady Golovkin justified his reputation, not only as a boxer of the highest caliber, but also as an athlete with an unyielding character. Golovkin not only defeated Curtis Stevens, but also demonstrated that words can have consequences. This fight became a vivid example of how in the world of boxing, the combination of strength, technique, and moral integrity in a fighter proves to be stronger than disrespectful behavior and arrogance. Right, and check that Gennady's ass can't cash. And come Saturday, I'm gonna f*** Gennady up. Boxing game was with you. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Thank you.